Mike Ventrisca, a friend of mine, was what you'd call a proud American. He lived in the suburb of Chicago. He had a great job with good benefits, had a nice house and a nice family. He was a giver. He was an outdoorsman and he gave back to the people. Worked hard all of his life. A few years back, he wound up what he thought, well, he wasn't feeling well at least and didn't know for sure what it was and went into the doctor. The doctor misdiagnosed him and said he had the flu and give him antibiotics for that and told him to come back in two weeks if it didn't get better. Well, in two weeks, he could hardly even walk when he come back into it. And uh, to see the doctor again, and the doctor then tested him for Lyme disease and found out that he had Lyme disease. And that's when the problem set in. The insurance company said, hey, you were diagnosed with the flu, we paid for that, so we're not gonna pay for this second diagnosis. And disaster struck in Mike's life. He now had not only Lyme disease, but chronic Lyme. And I mean, it was taking his body, it was taking his everything else. He lost his job, he lost his, uh, all of his benefits, he lost his home. He's been through hell in the last six years or so and is still in the middle of it fighting for his life. That's the biggest problem going on here is so many cases being misdiagnosed in America. Um, and when the tick illnesses go on for a while and they become chronic, you have a problem that often will last for the rest of your life.